eye contact, and pretend play. These are just a few of the ways health experts screen children for autism. It's based on the age, the things that we try to do, and it usually involves stacking blocks and pointing to pictures in a book and labeling pictures in a book, um, some pretend play, such as playing with the baby doll, and, and then we, we talk to the child. We check the eye contact, and with autism, we don't always have a lot of good eye contact. Pediatric advanced provider Sherry Campbell and her team hold autism screenings every month throughout Lee County. What's nice, though, about this screening is there are no strings attached. We don't need a doctor's order. Parents can just show up. We give them a piece of paper. We don't send any information to any other place and they can decide what they want to do. The screening starts with a questionnaire for families, followed by health experts interacting and observing the child. Seeking joint attention is one of the hallmark things that we see children not doing uh, when they have autism. And seeking joint attention is like bringing you a book or bringing you a toy and a child with autism generally won't do that. Children between the ages of 18 months and five years old can participate in the screening. The earlier a child is identified, the better. But it does take a little bit of time and some further testing to make a diagnosis. Mm -hmm. The benefit of our program is we can start the therapies right away. We don't have to have a diagnosis to start speech therapy or occupational therapy or physical therapy. The screening is free and designed to catch children early that might be at risk for autism. In addition to the screening tool, we try to do some observation and some developmental screening for just general development. Autism can mimic other diagnoses like speech delay, a hearing impairment, or cognitive delay. A screening can help families get a better understanding of what their child needs. For Lee Health, I'm Lindsay Morton.